What's going on, guys? It's your boy GamerGuy9 here, bringing you guys a Madden 25 Ultimate Team starting our season two. And if any of you guys remember our Super Bowl gameplay, I was not lying. I said I was going to upgrade my guys and upgrade my roster. Definitely, we got this 78 overall left guard Roman Foster, this six foot five, six foot six height, 86 strength, 77 awareness. Pass by strength is 89. Pass by foot was 80. Run plus strength is 87. Run by foot was 79. Pass block is 78. Injury is 87. It's a six plus ground and pound chemistry. Before that, we had um Jeff Allen there. Show his stats right quick. But um yeah, after that, after that salty, salty, salty Super Bowl loss, we definitely had to upgrade our team. Well, um, we went out to go got some guys, man. You know, we redeemed some game stop codes. As you see, we got the game stop 85 overall wide receiver Jerry Rice. Game stop this as you see on the back of the card there guys. Height is a six foot two, speed is a ninety-four, agility is a ninety-six, awareness is a seventy-three, route run is a seventy-eight, catching is a eighty-eight, catching traffic is a eighty-six, protect catch is eighty-four, and release is a eighty-one. Definitely, definitely a big upgrade to the receivers. Um over at Hakeem Nick there. We also we also picked up an eighty two overall Mike Wallace. Height is a six foot. Speed is a ninety six. That is that is that is mind blowing. 80, 92 agility, eighty one awareness. Route one is an eighty. Catch is an eighty four. Catch the traffic is seventy seven. Spectacular catch is eighty eight. Release is seventy seven. He's a long pass. Eight plus chemistry. I'm telling you guys, we definitely upgrade our receiver. We had AJ Green and the King Nick. We all these training cap guys over there. We definitely upgraded our line. Not a line, but our, yeah, our receiver. We upgraded the line a little bit with that left guard position. Left side looking good. We got the 7-2 overall Tavon Austin. Height, 5 foot 8. Speed is a 93. Agility is a 96. Awareness is a 60. Route run is a 70. Catching is an 80. Catch traffic is a 70. Protector catch is an 80. 59 releasing and 3 plus speed run. I ain't too worried about Tavon too much. I'm just worried about that speed. We had up there wide receivers. They were doing horrible dropping pass. It was a little bit slow. We got the 85 overall game stop edition. Steve Young, 6 foot 2 height. 85 speed, 84 agility, 97 injury, 78 awareness, 85 throwing power, 88 looseness, throwing accuracy is 87, and throwing deep is an 80. Then before that, we had our Matthew Stafford at 80 overall. If any of you guys can rock with the series for a while, y'all know who that is. Matthew Stafford, he was, he, we need a, a little bit of a quarterback with accuracy and a little bit of quarterback with a little bit, a little bit much more speed. I was going to start Joe Montana, but I ended up starting Steve Young instead. But you know it is what it is. We got Sheldon Richardson there. Um, I've I've been had this card in my reserves. I just decided to start him now because I seen his block shit and I think he has the second the highest block shit on the team besides Warren Sapp. So I will just put him there to show you guys the back and stats. Stats ain't all that great, but he's just there for for now. That's pretty much um that's pretty much everybody pretty much in the secondary. 75 overall. I got Desmond True Front back there. D Mill. Oh, we picked a. Haruki Nukamaru from the Panthers. Um, we picked him up. We needed a full safety back there. Um, that 6 sun full safety was going to cut it. We already got the 80 overall Barry Sim back there. Um, ball hawking like a boss. I don't know if... Um, uh, I don't know if I've been had this Eric Barry or not. Um, I, I'll show up if I, if I zoom in on the card. Uh, yeah, yeah. We also picked up Eric Barry. I guess I didn't have him. Just got him, you guys. Got the six highs of six foot. Speed is a 98. Jill is a 88. Awareness is 67. Tackling is a 81. Span coverage is a 67. Zone coverage is 65. Press is a 73. Precision catching is a 69. Before that, we had Christian Thompson, Baltimore Ravens strong safety, but we got Eric Berry replacing that. So we definitely upgrade our secondary a little bit. Our wide receivers and a little bit of our old line. We even got a new stadium. We got the MetLife Stadium. No more Miami Dolphins Stadium. We improved to a giant stadium. We moved to New York. And we are week one of the season. So let's see if these cards play pay off here, you guys. Playing against this dude, LAZ. Got the Vikings jersey. Trying to show what he does. Got the Deion Sanders back there. I spot that. I don't know how many videos I got seen my Deion Sanders. But uh, I see the 83 overall. Darren Spro. Checking out his line up here. This, um... Got a bunch of 70s and 80s back there. Um, if I had to compare, I think his team is his team is definitely like around my my team's level. He just got a couple more 80s than I do, but definitely around my level. 
in my opinion. Yeah, he, he got the 80 Dion Sanders. He got the 75 Dion Sanders. Okay. So, he got some legends back there. Let's see what he's doing, man. He comes out running the ball. So, we'll try to adjust to that. And I can't connect to Xbox Live Party all of a sudden. And I don't know what's going on there. Third and 13. Draws back with Colin Kaepernick. We send a B guy right there through the right side. We pick up the sack. Fourth and 22. He don't care. He went for it. And we sent another blitz. We got the safety. So now he had to punt us off the ball. We have the ball. Trying to see what CJ2K trying to do. What he do today. Uh, CJ2K ain't. He ain't. I guess he ain't. I, ain't, I guess he ain't really turned up yet. But um, it's all good. It's all good. First and 10. He got, we got Steve Young out here throwing dots to table on us. We out here blazing with our new weapons on offense. I feel like we're doing good this year, man. I, I feel a little bit excited this year with our new squad, our new team. Anytime you get a new squad, new team, definitely gives you self confidence in your team. Because the team I had before, I don't think I mean I had confidence in winning. Don't get me wrong. What, what the hell happened right there? But anyway, don't get me wrong. I have self confidence. It's just that I don't know, man. It's just the shit happens, man. I don't. You don't. You don't get your, your players. They don't step up like when you mostly need them. Like like the drop passes from my receiver that that ain't we ain't having that and they 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 are slightly slow those training camp receivers are slow they're like 80 something speed i think every receiver out of my team like 80 something speed but now everybody in my lineup is not all 90 speed so we should we should pretty much have a little bit of speed in the offense i know that jerry rice and um mike wallace and Tavon austin are all 90 plus speed so we are looking great on offense and then we still got the 80 overall jimmy graham Back there, and we got, of course, D. Miller dropping picks. Um, D. Miller, I did, I did find out who, and wow, he really did that shit. He really tried to throw it to him. Uh, no, sir, don't throw it to my fucking user. What are you doing? Not to Eric Berry, new addition to the team. Look at Eric Berry picking up the first INT, and can we take it back for six? Yes, we can. So he got his first pick six. In MetLife Stadium, playing for my team, Pliant 705. That is a team name. Um, and we are up 16 to nothing. Definitely took the lead 16 to nothing on this man right here. And he's falling apart right now. I feel like if I get another stop, I don't think I'm going to go up 16 to nothing lead. It's not likely going to happen. I don't know why he's coming out running the ball. Hey, dude, what you do? That's your strategy. I ain't here to tell you how you want to play. Um, second and seven, he breaks off a freaking big ass game with Darren Sproles and luckily we got D Miller with that speed to hawk him down um gets in the red zone he not in the red zone but now he's officially in the red zone because he's inside the 20 pass it out a little well Walker did a nice little play um first to 10 and he throws to my use again I don't know why I just, just do like testing me today man I don't know what's wrong I don't know if he had a bad day or not or my users having a bad day I already picked up a user pick and he I don't, oh, that better not be in. I was about to say, third and two, we send heat, and he finds a guy in the end zone open. I try to come with Eric Berry, try to tackle him. That wasn't happening. Then he went for two. We got the two-point conversion. I'm like, all right, you, now you want to go for two. And now you want to be a gay back bitch and start onside kicking. So at this point, I'm like, you know what, man? I'm just going I'm, I'm to sit and play. I ain't going to complain. I'm just going to sit and play, see, see what this dude working with. Um, we hit up the streak in the back of the end zone with Jerry Wright trying to get him his first touchdown of the year, but it was, he wasn't buying that. He was out of bounds. We got Tavon picking up the first down, move the chain. We are in the red zone, and please believe we are scoring. And Steve Young makes the horrible overthrow. I don't know what the hell he's doing right there. Second and ten, we go back to the route, and the King next picks up the touchdown. The training camp edition over here already carrying Gatorade bottles and shit. Trying to help out the starters. He just come in getting some playing time. He really sees his feel for my team, though. Um, now this dude has the ball trying to come out slinging. Um, trying to answer back trying for my touchdown. It's 23 to 8 right now. We are sitting in heat. And he is keep he keep throwing the covers. We're playing a lot of man here. This time I think it was playing zone. Fourth and 10 is upon us. And he goes for it. And, of course, we... Oh, he threw it to the guy and he batted it down. I had a brain fart because they got the dog in the background laughing. And I don't know what happened, yo. I had to look away from my screen. But anyway, <laughs> never do the commentary with dogs in the room. But anyway, besides that, first to 10, back to the commentary, 23 to 8. We send in heat out here, pick up a nice sack, second and three, 30 seconds left before half. 
and he chucks it up, and that's my true fun comes through with the pick. I love this dude, true fun. No homo. He just he plays my Falcon. He is just a beast. Look at him. He just taking it back for six. This dude, that's my true fun, is definitely something else. If you guys want to pick up a cheap, cheap car cornerback, definitely pick him. But that's my true fun. I think it's worth the money. This dude, you see him catching picks for us. I mean, he ain't the best in when it comes to coverage. Well, at least the 72 version. Now, I know I've seen like a 91 version out. I'm looking at the auction block. I've seen 91 version out. So I'm guessing that's the best overall true fun they have on the auction block. And we are sending it. He, this man does not know how to adjust to the heat. He is not adjusting, so we're going to keep sending it. We get a ball back 30 to 8. This game is pretty much out of hand. I'm just waiting for him to quit at any moment. Um, and this three minutes and some change left in the third course. At this point, we're like, why not run a ball? Try to, like, run. Why not dick around? Just try to, like, run some plays. We don't know where I normally run. Wow, is that a glitch? It was showing wide and X, and I'm already out of bounds. At this point, we're trying to run the ball, trying to clock him out, because I don't even feel like running up the score anymore. Like, it's useless, man. What's, what's the point running up the score? The game's already out of hands. Hit up CJ2K with the screen here. Now CJ2K trying to turn it up. Look at him breaking off of tackles. All I thought he was in the end zone. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. He's down at the one. Wow, dude trying to come in, mainly rushing me. And um, Steve, y'all couldn't put that throw up point. Um... Second and goal, we find Jimmy Graham in the end zone. Steve Young does put that throw on point for sure. And now we're up 37-8. And um, this dude right here does not know how to quit. I'm waiting for him to quit. And he got this Deion Sanders taking back kickoffs. Well, he almost took back a kickoff. Got past midfield. My side of the 41 at least. And he, wow, just like T on top of right there, sometimes true fun. He, he won't. He won't guard those, dude. That's true front. Well, the 72 overall version. And I don't know. Good play by him. I don't know how the hell you know that dude was coming back down. I definitely did not see him, to be honest. Dwayne Bowe being the beast that he is. And he decides to, I don't know, run in with Captain, you know, kiss his muscle, do whatever. He runs the read option. And now he starts to go to two. So I'm like, all right. Um, then he starts onside kicking. And I'm like, the game is over. I don't know if I should start. I don't know if I want to keep dicking around anymore. Um, honestly, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just stopped. So now, right now, I'm running pistol. I'm trying to, like, I'm still trying to run a ball, man. Don't get me wrong. I'm still running the ball. Running pistol out here. I trip over my guy's leg. Thanks to Finney Engine 2.0. Good job, EA. Um, third and 10. Hit up Foster out the backfield. Look at um, Aaron Foster trying to get his playing time back on the field. We got CJ 2K and Aaron Foster out here trying to carry the load on the team. And we get back to CJ 2K, and he bring, brings us down. Right now in the fourth quarter, man, at this point, now he got him. Now he's trying to turn up in the fourth quarter. I mean, shout out to him. Props to him to not, um, you know, quitting out or anything. Trying to show up. Fourth and 14, we just take our field goal. I don't want to risk this man getting a slight chance, an opportunity to come back. And it's 40-16, two minutes and 42 seconds left. Seconds left. He is not coming back. I do not see that happening. So at this point, I'm just waiting for him to, you know, pause and scroll over to the quit game, and we're pretty much good. And no, he didn't. He threw it on my user again. Greenwood with that nasty animation got the pick in midair, and he still has to quit out. So at this point, I'm like, all right, fucking, why not run up the score? Got Grand wide open in the end zone. We go over there skipping and shit. Pick up another touchdown, 47 to 16. This game is getting ugly. We are doing pretty good in our first game with our new team, man. They are definitely stepping up. Tavon Austin, these new weapons on our team. We got Steve Young throwing dots. And my users are still my users. Just, just I don't know what my users are doing, but they did. So, they ain't making my defense look any good. But I definitely think we upgraded this team, man. We got Luka Mara back there for now. He's, he won't be back there for long. Don't don't even think he... He, he won't be back there for long because plays like that happen. He'll get burnt. And he, he, his speed ain't, he ain't enough speed. And he don't, he don't have enough speed for me to use him, man. In other words. And he ended up scoring right there for a touchdown. And he goes for two. He ran a read option again and gets another two-point conversion. I reckon now that's his, I realize that's his two-point conversion play. I'm like, wow, he got a two-point conversion play. He's running a read option. He probably didn't catch on to that. Um, and a minute 31 seconds, Chris Johnson decides to turn up. And he dove too early. Chris Johnson took it to the house with a kick return. Look at CJ2K, team captain. I'm so glad I chose that card my team captain. So now we want to be a copycat. We're like, yeah, why not run the read-offs for a 2 bucket version play? Like, why not be like you, right? 
anything you can do, I can do better, right? You know how the song goes, y'all. You guys don't know how the song goes, definitely go check it out. Y'all know how the song goes. Some of y'all know. Anything you can do, I can do better. You know how it goes. 55 to 24, man. Game is a blow. I'm not giving up this fucking lead. It's, it's too much, too of a high of a lead to give up. And it's like 45 seconds left. 34. What do you do? Chuck it up. Dude. That was my fault. And partly due to True Front because of his height. The only thing I like about True Front is his height. He's like a little bit short. But, um, come on, everybody. You gotta pick that. Anyway, it's like his height is like a little bit short. Oh my goodness, dude. This dog don't shut the hell oh. Anyways, wow, this dude making the highlight reel, Colin Kaepernick. Now he's about to walk in for six. And 10 seconds left, and he throws a touchdown. Throws a strike in the middle of the field, goes for touchdown. He ran the read out too many times, and I caught on to that and stopped him. 55 to 30. Wow, I didn't want to start high kicking. I thought he wanted to onside. I don't know why, but that ended up being a game, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this season two video. I will be dropping week two soon. Hit up Mike Wallace for that nice play. But I will be dropping season two, week two um, video. Hope you guys enjoy the new team and the gameplay. I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.